So we've got Jonathan David, a beautiful striker, a little bit more expensive than Aubameyang, and I can imagine he will crash massively. He is currently 1.14 mil. I'm hoping he's as good as the price says. Rapid, Finesse, Traveller, some of the better play style pluses we've seen on a card. And he is a four star, five star. Five foot nine, can be striker or center forward. Nearly maxed out pace, 97 on the finishing. Some decent passing, great dribbling that, to be honest, could probably just have an agility balance problem. We, we need more balance on that. So I can imagine a lot of people are shouting for the engine. Strength, heading, stamina, jumping, all pretty much up to the max there. And obviously, as you can see, some decent play styles nonetheless. Now, in terms of the card, you're obviously going to go with the engine because you want that agility balance fix. Max is the pace out, a little bit more on the passing. To be honest, I'm okay with 98 positioning, 97, 92, 86. Like, that's more than fine for a striker to get that balance up to 93. That's going to be an absolute must for the card. At this moment in time, he's coming in at 1.146. I think I bought one at 147, and that was the only one. The rest were 1.160, so I will see at the end if he has gone up or down anymore. So let's jump into Jonathan. Let's see what he can do, and hopefully we can rate him against Abamyang. All right, let's kick straight off into him then. The Rapid is going to be one of my favorite playstyle pluses mixed in with a bit of finesse shot. Oh, straight off the post. Imagine the first goal scenes. Heads it over to him. Oh, it's got to be. Oh, he's in the post again. Referee, that was outrageous. Have we got any free kicks on him? I doubt it. Penalties, yes, obviously. Power, the standard, really. I kind of didn't expect anything else. There it is. Get the through ball on. Need a bit of a run from David and himself here. There's the little pass. Little two round him. What on earth was that challenge? There it is. Little snap. Finesse. Oh, again. There he is. Oh, this, this is where we can see that. Oh, okay. Wow, I mean, I, you can tell I don't do Travella very often because that was woeful. Oh, little. Back to him. Ronaldinho. Back. Ronaldinho. Oh, my. I thought I had, I thought I had it across. I had that pass down to a T. Into him. Little flick. Volley. Oh, why did I pass it? One more. One more. Oh, he's giving me a penalty. Oh, this makes life a lot easier. What do we reckon? Chip down the middle? Or are we going down the sides? Uh, right foot. He's not moving. I'm going to chip to the left. Are oh, you? Uh, that's that's the third penalty in a row at the minute that I've absolutely nailed into the keeper. There's the ball. If we can, he's got the pace. It just doesn't have the turning circle on him. We're kind of taking it round him. Can we just... Oh, he's, he's only just got to megs the keeper. That is beautiful. I was going to say, the keeper's not moved. We've, we've just got to go for a hit and hope. And he's absolutely lapped it up. What on earth is Casillas doing? And again, going to look for that spin if we can. Can we find a finesse? We cannot. Lovely fake through. Good through ball, but it's a great challenge on him. I don't know if that's a manual slide or if he's, he's uh, got it automated, but that would have been a great slide to get the ball back. Little one more. Get the touch. Oh, oh I wanted the volley. The volley would have been perfect. Good ball in. Ronaldinho back to him if he can. I don't know why he's doing a flare. It must be automated for him as well. Oh, that's got to be. That's a great save from Casillas. I was kind of hoping for it. Where, where is the diving headers? Like, surely that needs to be a trait. A power diving header. Because they don't do them anymore. Like, you, you are going to get more power on the ball from, a, like, a diving header than you are from, like, a karate kick volley. So, I don't know why that's not an animation anymore. Oh, and again. Oh, he's gonna, just going to get absolutely bodied every time. Make the run with him. Oh, he's found the inside. Oh, and again, there we go. Easy. I don't know why you slide in there. I pretty much only had one way. Now, can we get the deadlock here? 
we are going to go bottom right. He's probably expecting right, and he was expecting top. I knew it. Most people go top nowadays, so you kind of expect to go bottom every now and then. But always choose the other side and just pray. <laughs> oh, that's a great through ball. Oh, there it is. Lovely stuff. He's managed to get it. It's a beautiful pass and a very, very lucky pass backwards. Because, to be honest, I was expecting the keeper, but not so quickly. There he is. One more into him. Finds the inside. He's going to look for that. Spread his wings. Look for the finesse. It's a great save. I had that angle totally wrong, though. Oh, I don't know. Have we got... Oh, no. It's a bit further out than I thought. I was going to say, do we have a little bit of him from here? But, well, we, we're looking... We're looking a bit, of, a bit of yards here, to be honest. Can we get the finesse, though, from this distance? Yeah, no, that's it's pretty ambitious, to be honest. Maybe prior patch, you might have been able to at least hit the bar or something, but... Oh, hello. Little one back. Oh, it's a very risky slide. Honestly, this guy does not care about slides in the box whatsoever. Little turn. Little flick, if we can. He's just going absolutely everywhere for this. Little inside, little turn again, because, ooh, he is, he's, he's going for the, the proper tackles and everything in the box. Good ball. Can we get the touch off? Nice. Little roulette into Loftus' cheek, back to him. Oh, we tried something silky and it didn't pay off. Very, very close, though. Oh, all the way. Dipping bodies left, right, and center. All the way. Double ball roll into the left foot finish. And that is absolute domination for him. So going into the overall then, I will be very happy if he kept at that price, to be honest with you. 1.3 mil? I mean, I'll absolutely take it if it is. But in terms of a striker, I, I, I must admit, I actually probably preferred him over Aubameyang, to be honest. And... That says a lot because I must admit, I really do enjoy Bamiang. It's it's a very interesting dilemma to be in. Obviously, with David, he's he's had so many good cards. It's it's now the second year now or third year that we've had some decent ones. Obviously, last year we got the cool dynamic, we got the footies, yeah. So it's been two years. We the funny thing is I can't even remember the cam version of him, but I do remember this footage because of the dynamic, and then we got another one. It's a shame we haven't had another dynamic on top. Now, in terms of kind of how much he's coming in at, I am very interested to see is he actually coming in at the price we said. So, team of this season, we're coming in at what one? They're saying one point. Oh my. Now, do I hold him? Because I've I've got him for a lot less than that now. I mean, he definitely feels that good, but I, I don't know if I'd quite say he's... Jeez, so what's the one after this? So, 134, and he's been there for a while. So, I might just go and put him up for... What, what did we get for? 114, nice. Okay, so we're going to go 1-3. So, what, what do we say? 20. I'm going to go one one three fifteen, Just because we're not greedy. I, I definitely want to make the profit. But I mean, I'll absolutely take that. If he's gone up that much already, that's crazy. Especially seeing as we're probably half an hour away from a big pack that comes out. Um, in terms of... I don't know why that's broken still. Um, obviously, we've got the... What on earth is going on here? Lee gun, there we go. So in terms of kind of the strikes, we've got Mbappe's kind of number one as always. He's extinct... Uh, 15? Yeah, 15. That's pretty self-explanatory, really, isn't it? 1.3 for, obviously, David. 8.2 for Dembele. He looks crazy in himself. We have got, uh, Golovin. He's at 94, center forward at 86. Bamiang's now 5.43. He's dropped massively in this past hour, so that's crazy to see already. Um, and I'll be keeping you updated to see if if David does sell within this next kind of little bit. Then other than that, the other strikers, it's a very heavy defense um, team of the season from what I see. We've got a lot of midfielders in here, but not many strikers. Like we've got one, two, three, four, which I suppose is quite a decent amount, I suppose. But it just feels like the kind of wing aspect because we don't have a left wing. Um, at least here we have two right wings. And I think most of the most of everybody else is going to be more towards the bench, if anything, or on D1. So I think David is definitely coming in at an absolute 
baller of a level i will be interested to see if he does sell at 1.3 i would have thought it a drop down because when we look at the bundesliga it's very hard because kane was obviously the for uh, the sure fire there other than that appenders kept his price at 760 boniface is pretty much where he was at when it comes to prem we had Haaland, who's obviously going to be monstrously expensive. Son's held his price as well, to be honest. And then, other than that, Foden's held a very good price. I really thought he would be a lot less as well. Uh, other than that, Watkins. So, he's kind of coming in with very little challenges in the mid. Because, obviously, when it comes to the top end, we do have a lot. But the mid end, so the mid to top, so kind of just under your Haaland, your Mbappes, your Harry Kanes, where it's like, what are we talking, like 10 to 8 to 5 mil. There's kind of very little sitting in that spot other than Son. So I would say he's definitely in that and filling it. So I could see him under a mil at some point, but more than likely when we get all of the upgrades and stuff like that. At the moment, he hasn't sold for 1.3 straight away, so he is going to take a little bit praying that he does sell before the big packs come out because otherwise he could drop just as quickly as he rises so we will we will kind of keep an eye on that one at the minimum but overall i think he's fantastic he's got the pace he's obviously got the rapid plus which is a big help he's got then the travella the finesse shot always going to help in the, these scenarios are going to be perfect for it you add the engine onto him as well you're going to get the agility balance boost maxed out pace little bit of passing which is always going to be helpful and just an overall absolute monstrous striker so let me know down below if you've managed to use any of them and make sure you like and subscribe peace